those subscribers. How are you? Today we're watching Nacho Libre. This is one of my all time favorite movies. I love this movie. I've seen it many, many times. I still quote it a lot to this day. Every once in a while, I'll slip in a quote from this movie into a different video and some of you guys will catch it. So thank you so much for catching my references to this. Jen, what do you know about Nacho Libre and how are you feeling going into it? So I don't know anything about the actual movie, but I do know that it has quite the following. Looking at it, I don't know if it's gonna be up my alley as far as like humor goes. I feel like it's in that kind of Will Ferrell and the guy from Napoleon Dynamite, which I also haven't seen. John but here. I feel like it's all the same humor. So I don't know if it's gonna be for me, but I'm going into it with an open mind. And honestly, I just am curious. Like, what is it about? What, what makes this movie so loved, just very, very curious. I wouldn't consider this a Will Ferrell type of humor. The guy who directed Nacho Libre directed Napoleon Dynamite with uh, John Heater, and he has a very dry sense of humor. Jack Black is obviously a Nacho Libre, and he's, a lot, he's, he's very much like allowed to be Jack Black in this movie. So I think you'll appreciate it in that regard, but I can understand why it may not be everybody's cup of tea. But if you're watching this, I imagine you're probably feeling pretty similar to how I feel about it. How I would describe Nacho Libre it's the best. Love it. I do think you will like it. Before we get into Nacho Libre though, we can't forget the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day comes from when we did Transformers over a year ago from David Walls who said, watch Nacho Libre, requested this 10 months ago on the Spider-Man 2 reaction. And that comment was from a year ago. So it's been two years that people at least have been requesting Nacho Libre on the channel. So we're finally doing it. I do have a more recent comment from when we did Daredevil season three. We've concluded all of the original Netflix Daredevil stuff. So if you'd like to see that going into Daredevil Born Again, which is coming out later this year, go check that out. This comment says, a nun in a boxer, Nacho Libre did it too. And I can't wait for you to, to see what happens with that. But for now, let's go ahead and get into it. Nacho Libre. Oh, I forgot this is a, technically a Nickelodeon movie. What is this rated? PG. Really? It's like a hero. <laughs> it does. Aww. He, uh, he would go on to be in the Goldbergs. He was in a movie called Drillbit Taylor. He's a pretty funny actor in his own right. Are you a religious man? How come we can't ever have just like a salad? Fox. Be grateful, one Pablo. Mira. Mira. <laughs> Y'all recognize that little kid? He's Rico from Hannah Montana. This was before he was on Hannah Montana. Did you watch Hannah Montana? No. Y pasa Quino. como sombra sin detenerse. Frente a ti, ¿quién podrá sacar lo puro? Nadie. Orphans, smile and be happy. Sister, encarnación. Encarnación. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Children, today I want to tell you I'd be with you, Ignacio. I was wondering if you would like to join me in my quarters this night. Look alive! There is a man sick with influence. Look alive. Why is his mustache like that? Look at him. Mucha muchacha. Mucha muchacha. I like your cow. I like your cow. Holy Father, please receive this man into your kingdom. May he rest in peace. Good 
It's literally us every night before bed. They tried to convert each other, but they got married instead. <laughs> I think she was in Narcos. She probably was. Yeah, She's been in a few things. And they don't think I know a buttload of crap about the gospel, but I do. <laughs> okay? I saw a man in town who was a luchador. And he's a false idol. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Where are the chiefs? Somebody stole them. Did you not tell them that they were the Lord's chiefs? I was trying to. This is the worst lunch I ever had. You're only. Do you not realize I have had that? <laughs> okay. Maybe I am not meant for these duties. I've had diarrhea since Easter's. <laughs> Rico. I do love this cart thing he's got. Plus my skills in the ring. Tag team. Oh, you're crazy. Don't you want to leave the taste of the glory? See what it tastes like. <laughs> no. If we win, we get 200 pesos. 200 pesos a piece is all over. That's 200 pesos for the both of you. Oh. Jeez. Uh. Is that poop or mud? It's uh, poop. Very <laughs> sir. What? You can take the stallion. I'll take the pony. Pray to the Lord for strength. I don't believe in God. I believe in science. <laughs> You've not been baptized? You've not been baptized. <laughs> Let me have a piece of that card. <laughs> oh. Shuka la mano. Shuka la mano. Give me the And then I disappear. And then I disappear. <laughs> Huh? They scalp my hairs, okay? Come on, baby. And you gave the <laughs> to hurt me like this. What's this? It's money. But we lost. We all get a piece. Come back next week, and I'll we get another fight for you. <laughs> Aww. He used the money to get food. Yeah, that's all he wanted to do. He truly loves the orphans. <laughs> and Encarnacion. <laughs> when I cooked for you last night. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> when you are a man, sometimes you wear stretchy pants. It's for fun. It's for fun. I'm a little concerned right now about your salvation and stuff. How come you have not been baptized? Good idea, if you... Praise the Lord! ...a los nuevos luchadores! Felicidades. Oh, he's concerned about it because he's like, they could kill us. <laughs> this is like me trying to change Hero's diaper right now. <laughs> Oh, there's me. Yep. Jeez. Jesus. They keep taking that guy's <laughs> yeah, hair. He's ripping his hair out. See 
They are just niños trying to release their wiggles. <laughs> Ignacio. I know it is fun to wrestle. A nice pile drive to the face or a punch to the face. <laughs> so you've never wrestled? Me? No, come on. Don't be crazy. Listen, I know the wrestlers get all the fancy ladies. <laughs> they freak creams and lush. <laughs> <laughs> but my life is good. I get to lay in a bed by myself all of my life. <laughs> Have you ever had feelings for a nun? <laughs> no way. Take her on a day tonight, and I will bring some of my friends to beat you up. But we will let you win. We'll let you win. <laughs> so where you Why is it like Pablo Escobar? <laughs> Let's talk to these guys about the gospel. <laughs> where is your rope, Ignacio? It was stinky. <laughs> but these are my... <laughs> <laughs> they may have the appearance of riches. But beneath the clothes, we find a man. And beneath the man, his nucleus. Uh. <laughs> hey! Can't you see this woman's a nerd? Can't see this woman's a nerd. <laughs> you ever seen this move? Huh? Oh. Surprise! <laughs> what? I look like a fool last night. What took you so long? I think I know someone who can help you. The Lord? No. <laughs> He's a water. You could become the greatest fighter who ever lived. <laughs> if I can eat this yolk, my moves will become the best in the whole world. Definitely. I never realized how bad that looked. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Summon your ego powers. What do you think I am doing? <laughs> ego powers! Come to me! Skeleton. Ah! Oh. Those eggs were a lie, Steven. A lie! I don't want to get paid to lose. I want to win! We must learn their ways. But they are pros. His name is Senor Ramon. He's having a party tomorrow night. Here we have the corn, the best in the city. It's delicious. And that is a crazy lady. <laughs> so. <laughs> How do you know him? He's the best. Who is not? Ramses. How are you? <laughs> Listen, the kids are our fans. You are the best. <laughs> oh my gosh. Billy. I made them. I made them. Can I come in? People might get the wrong idea about you. Like maybe you are a floozy. Dang. Give me a boost. I don't think I can leave you. You are too fat. <laughs> I think that me and my friend are ready to go pro. Would you like to fight this man in the ring? Watch his face. Next week, an exhibition in front of 5,000 people. Ooh. I forgive you. <laughs> Uh, How did you get up here so fast? Still has the straight corn in yeah. his hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeez. 
That was a couple they wrestled. I think so, yeah. Yeah, that was the guy who was like whipping him with the belt. Oh, that looks so good. I know. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's a real douche. <laughs> I can't go on living a lie. I'm a friar. I'm not for that world. I'm sick of hearing about your stupid orphans. What did you just uh -oh. say? I hate orphans. Oh, God. I hate all the orphans in the whole world. <laughs> I hate all the orphans in the whole world. You only believe in science. That's probably why we never win. <laughs> Lucha Libre, it's a sin. Why? Because those men fight for vanity. But is it always a sin to fight? Is it always a sin to fight? For someone who needs your help, only then will God bless you in battle. Why have you given me this desire to wrestle and then made me such a stinky warrior? Maybe you want me to fight so they can have better foods and a better life. <laughs> I smell cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am Nacho, the luchador. Who? Nacho! He is not a man of God. I will fight the seven strongest men in town, maybe the world. Our Heavenly Father will be in the ring with me. I will buy the orphans. A big bus. for me in this world, Chanchito. My mother gave it to me before she died. It was her lucky machete. How did you find me here? I saw you from the village. <laughs> <laughs> Silencio isn't going to be able to fight Ramses. He got injured. You were second place. You get to fight Ramses. But I thought you hated all the orphans in the whole world. Not anymore. I like them. <laughs> Tonight I'll be fighting the greatest wrestler who ever lived. Know that I am leaving all my monies to the orphans. If we didn't end up taking our vows of celibacy, we could maybe, but you know, whatever. <laughs> hug, hug, keys, keys, little keys. This guy is a real wrestler. He uh, died a few years after this movie came out, though. He had a heart attack. Ramses is the number one. His muscles are number one. I wrote a song for Encarnacion in my mind. When the fantasy has ended, use my hand to wipe my tears, to kiss <laughs> Encarnacion. Maybe we should pray. Please bless Nacho with nutrients and strength. We have the nutrients. I fight. Tecarisi. Tecarisi. Uh. 
Nacho! Just finished watching Nacho Libre. I love this movie. I was cracking up the whole time. They're not like punchlines that are for the audience to respond to. It's just like situational humor, subtle cues and stuff, like this subtle social awkwardness. I just found so funny the way that they did it in this movie. Jen, what did you think of Nacho Libre? Not exactly like my type of humor, but that's not to say that there weren't some funny moments throughout the movie. I really liked Nacho's character, actually. I thought that he was pretty funny. He was admirable. You know, the fact that he's like- Orphans. He serves these orphans, he takes care of them, and that's something that's important to him. The fact that he, like his first paycheck, he uses that, it shows me that like it's not a type of situation where it's all about like fame and glory. It really makes his character lovable. I love that he has this like crush on this nun, but my favorite part about the movie is his relationship with his teammate. I don't remember what his name is. Esqueleto. The skeleton. The skeleton, okay. <laughs> Just say it, a skeleton. Uh, no. Just do it real quick. A skeleton. <laughs> That's good, well, skeleton. So Nacho and the skeleton, the I- skeleton. <laughs> Nacho and the skeleton, I absolutely adored. And honestly, my biggest complaint with this movie is the final scene, which is like the big fight, was just Nacho. I feel like the skeleton earned that place next to him. You know, throughout the film, they were like a team, they were a duo. And so I was a little bit let down that it focused just on Nacho fighting Ramses. I really thought that it was not gonna have any humor that I liked, but um, it definitely had a charm to it. I just don't think that it's like, like what I think is like, a Funny, funny movie. Definitely had its moments, but more than anything, I just loved Nacho as a character and seeing him interact with the skeleton was probably my favorite part. I'm glad that I saw it. Do I think it's the funniest movie around? No, but it definitely was funnier than I thought it was going to. What would you rate this? What would I... I I'm gonna give it... I'm gonna give it a 7.5. Oh, 7.5. Okay, um, it had its moments. I think the comedy is just not, uh, you know. I, I'm old school, I admit that. I'm very, very harsh when it comes to comedies. I'm more of the old school Jim Carrey. Uh, all those movies that came out during his era are um, more up my alley. So, um, but this was a good time. I loved the main character, I really did. I thought that he was, uh, he was very cool. So, 7.5. I'm glad that you liked it. Your response is basically what I was expecting. I'm glad that you at least liked Ignacio as a character. I figured you'd like Esqueleto, he was great. After watching this again, the amount of things I quote from this movie 
nearly every day. It just like occurred to me. I still say, send me a piece of that card. I say, take it easy all the time. I get that from this. I take it easy. So I love this movie. I love Nacho's journey from like having a desire to wrestle and his initial loss. He was like really excited to get the money so that he could buy the orphans food. And then slowly over time, he's less and less satisfied with losing. And there's that one scene where he's going through and he's about to buy food for the orphans and he sees this nice pair of shoes. So you can see his motivation starting to get a little warped and the, the glory and the money and the fame getting to his head. He's forgetting what was important and why he started in the first place, which is why to their monastery wrestling is a sin because it brings about vanity and false pride as Encarnacion pointed out. But he's like, surely it's not a sin to fight all the time. She's like, no, you can fight for, fight for noble reasons. And then he has that moment where he prays and he's like, why have you given me this desire to be a wrestler but made me such a stinky warrior? And then he's like, maybe I'm supposed to give all my winnings to the children, to the orphans. This is just Christian lore. This is not me proselytizing. In the book of Genesis, Jacob fights with God. God changes Jacob's name to Israel, which means he who wrestles with God. If anyone says wrestling just in its nature is unbiblical, anti-God, you just point him out to that. Because God blessed Jacob after wrestling him. Loved it. The humor is absolutely my type of humor. The director did Napoleon Dynamite as well. It came out two years prior to this one. I don't, I think it's the same type of humor. I don't know if you'd really like it, but I thoroughly enjoy Nacho Libre. There's aspects of it that are, I'm sure, nostalgia. I watched this movie as a kid, but I, I get so much enjoyment out of it even now. For me, I'd rate this movie a solid nine out of 10. The rewatch value for Nacho Libre is really, really high. I could watch this movie over and over and over again. So that's what I'd rate this one. Also, I forgot to mention, so when I was a kid, I actually watched a lot of wrestling. So that <laughs> aspect of this movie, I actually really, really enjoyed. Like the Hart Brothers, The Undertaker, like really exaggerated. I used to watch it all the time. So um, I really enjoyed all those scenes like in the ring, uh, especially with like Ramses and like the two I don't even know what to call it, like mini... Uh, Satan's helpers. Satan's <laughs> so helpers, like... yeah. Um, Satan's cavemen, that's what they're called. Satan's cavemen, that was a lot of fun. So next to just Nacho's character, I also enjoyed that aspect of the movie. <laughs> Satan's cavemen. Of course, these are just some of our thoughts. We'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. So leave us a comment down below, we'll check those out. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It does help the channel out a lot. Subscribe, you'll be notified when we post the next video. And check out Patreon. You can get early access to select videos just like this one. You can watch the full-length reactions with us over there too. There's a lot of great stuff coming down the pipeline, Bat Batch season three and the live action Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix will be coming out around the same time and we are planning on covering those over there. Uh, but for now, that is it. Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video, everyone. Take care.